today's sports beat. What a devastating week it was for Utah football. He lost to Arizona State, lost control in the Pac-12 South, lost Tyler Huntley for the season. Then Thursday, news breaks, they lost Zach Moss for the season. So how would they respond to all that adversity with so much still on the line against Oregon? That question was answered early. Armand Shine stepping in for Moss. A collision that sends most players to the sideline, but Shine bounces off, takes it down the sideline for a big game that set up a field goal. The defense was all over Oregon star quarterback Justin Herbert, forcing a fumble. That would set up the Utes' first touchdown. Jason Shelley stepping in for Huntley. The keeper, 10-0 Utes. Oregon gets on the board in the second quarter. Justin Herbert to Dylan Mitchell. Utah to settle for field goals, six to be exact. Matt Gay sets a school record, this one a 55-yard kick to give the Utes a 19-7 lead at the half. Oregon cuts the lead to five in their first possession of the second half. Another Mitchell touchdown. He had eight catches, 169 yards, two scores. Here comes the adversity for Utah. Mitch Wisnowski, his punt is blocked. That sets up a go-ahead score for the Ducks. Herbert to Travis Dye. The two-point conversion's good. The Utes are down 25-22 in the fourth quarter. But how about the freshman Jason Shelley making his first start, leads a go-ahead drive, connects with his high school teammate Jalen Dixon for 36 yards. Then Shelley caps off the drive with a two-yard touchdown run. He was 18 of 31 for 262 yards, 22 on the ground and two scores. Now Oregon's chance to answer fourth down, the Utah defense steps up. A great play by Jalen Johnson. The Utes take over on downs and that's when the Utes turn to arm on shine. The running back grinds out the clock. Shine with 174 yards on 26 carries, filling in for Moss. After everything that happened this week, what a win for the Utes, keeping their division title hopes alive. Well, we we want to be uh, aggressive when you know when it's a, a good you know the odds are in your favor. But I don't think there was any time that I can recall tonight where I wish we would have gone for it instead of settle for the field goal. You did have some struggles in the red zone down close to the goal line. I mean, what, what was kind of going on there? Uh, we just wanted to get Matt Gay some field goals. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's the best kicker in the country. I know we got off to a slow start, didn't protect him the, the first game or two. But uh, since then, he's been on a tear. He is having a, a terrific year. Now to the Aggies, 14th ranked Utah State seeking their ninth straight win hosting San Jose State on senior day. Like BYU, the Aggies had a slow start, but nothing slow about their offense once it gets going. Jordan Nathan with a 42-yard touchdown. Second quarter, Jordan Love to Gerald Bright. This is a 24-yard touchdown. The Aggies are up 17-10. to Gerald Bright had two first-half touchdowns, and this run was outstanding. 29 yards. Making that San Jose State defense look silly. Of course, everybody does. Darwin Thompson had a big day, too, on the ground. A touchdown run of 59 yards and an 88-yard touchdown reception. Jordan Love, 32 of 42, 491 yards and a school record five touchdowns. A school record 804 yards of total offense. Aggies now 9-1. and one. They're at CSU next Saturday. I'm always amazed. I mean, it's, just, it's really just a fun thing to be a part of. Um, to be able to do stuff like that every week, I mean, it's just, it's really just fun. Our offense is phenomenal. Like, we, we, we see these, these numbers, we see the plays. I see these guys every single day. We go against them every single day. But then watching them in action still, I'm like, what is going on? Like, it's phenomenal. I mean, you ask our players, they'll tell you we haven't played our most complete game yet. They'll tell you we, I mean, we had 804 yards total offense. Is that right? And we pulled the starters in the middle of the third quarter. I think there's there's a lot out there still. BYU taking on UMass at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. 10 a.m. Mountain start. The Cougars didn't wake up until late in the first quarter. Down 10-0. Talon Shumway finds the end zone to put the Cougars on the board just before the half. Zach Wilson hooks up with Shumway again. The Cougars take a 14-10 lead into the break. Second half, the BYU defense dominated UMass, who put up 62 points and 777 yards of total offense last week. Not even close to that this week. Red Sandlin with the sack. BYU's offense found their rhythm. Wilson completes the flea flicker to Neil Pau, who makes a great catch. Catch. That sets up another score. Matt Hadley steps in a running back, 11 carries, 69 yards, and this touchdown. BYU having success with the jet sweep. Aleva Hifo, 28 to 10 BYU after he gets into the end zone. Hifo would cap off the scoring with another touchdown on a sweep. BYU scores 35 straight. Now one win away from bowl eligibility. The Weber State Southern Utah rivalry continues. Weber State with a 7-6 lead when running back Josh Davis breaks a big run. 44 yards to give the Wildcats a 14-6 lead. 
on the ensuing kickoff. This is Judd Cockett for Southern Utah. He's got a blocker. And he's got a 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Two minutes later, though, Weber State answers with Clay Moss. What a bruising nine-yard run into the end zone. 21-12 at the half for Weber State. More Josh Davis, 36 carries, 225 yards, and two scores on the ground. Weber State now 8-2 with the win. Southern Utah falls to 1-9. and nine. Now to soccer. Real Salt Lake and Sporting Kansas City. The second leg of the Western Conference semifinals Sunday at 1 p.m. Mountain. Rod is in KC. Hi there from Kansas City. Now here's the scenario for tomorrow. If Real Salt Lake wants to advance, they either have to win or end in a draw with a score of 2-2 or higher. If Sporting KC is to advance, they either have to win or end in a scoreless draw. If it ends in a 1-1 draw, then they will play two 15-minute halves to determine a winner. If they still can't figure it out by then, then they'll go into penalty kicks. So it is definitely going to have a lot of drama in store for us tomorrow. But for now, get rested up because it's going to be intense. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow from Kansas City. Thanks, Rod. That was clear as mud. High school football, North Sam Pete playing in a state championship game for the first time in the 103-year history of the school, but Summit Academy was too strong for the Hawks in the 3A state championship game. Talmadge Brown to Colin Dodge. Les Hamilton won two titles at Alton. Now he gets a Gatorade bath with the Bears. They are celebrating their first state title. 2A state championship, South Summit and Grand. Grand uses a gadget play to take a 7-0 lead. The ball makes its way back into the hands of the quarterback, Bryant Trout. Stacey Randall's wide open, 51-yard touchdown, but South Summit would dominate this game. Quarterback Cale Atkinson, a 47-yard touchdown. He had four touchdown passes to Jared Danzi. The Wildcats repeat as 2A state champs. 1A state championship, undefeated Milford and longtime 1A power, Duchesne. Milford quarterback Bryson Barnes having a big day. It's an 80-yard touchdown pass to Paxton Henry. The Tigers go up 19-0 at that point. On their next drive, Barnes connects with Brett Beebe, 68 yards. The Milford Tigers defend their title. 19 straight wins, longest current win streak in the state of Utah. We've got much more of all this high school championship stuff on kslsports.com. I'm out of breath. What <laughs> a day. A it's been on. a lot of fun. It's we did really great, well. Great highlights yes. today. All right, thanks. thanks. JJ. Yep. We'll be back.